Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada at 7770 Dean Martin Drive. It's a beautiful day. It's kind of breezy out. Welcome to Las Vegas. It's getting into the 90s now. We have our normal dust problem. So we just cleaned this thing, but it just seems to be dust all over it already. 1957 Pontiac Star Chief. Two door, white top kind of a maroonish, kind of reddish kind of exterior. Lots of chrome. A little bit of body work that you can kind of sort of see. I'll point out for you two, three, uh, uh, about a, well, no, three, four chips that I'll point out for you. Um, uh, some uh, small minor bumper issues. The undercarriage is kind of sort of, uh, you could see photographs at celebritycars.com. Um, it's it's not it's not the prettiest undercarriage you've ever seen, but it's all together. It's all there. It needs a good cleaning. It's solid for the most part. Uh, the photographs will show, and you could see it. Uh, I didn't see any blatant rust, so you're in good shape there. Uh, these cars, in particular, can be very very expensive. Full restoration. Uh, we have ours priced uh, very fairly for the condition that it's in. It's a beautiful driver. You can cruise it around and uh, the brakes work great. Uh, it actually runs pretty good, so you're in good shape. But what I do here is, uh, we'll get to that later in a driving video, uh, but what I do here is I'm your, your living, breathing condition report. I go over all these details because the video camera can only do so much. And uh, maybe you're sitting on the East Coast, you've really been looking for one of these things. This one hasn't been on the market for a very long time and uh, uh, maybe you want one of these suckers in your garage and you want to see it a little clearer, okay? So I'm going to kind of sort of point at things that you might, may or may not be concerned about. It's goods, it's bads, all that kind of cool stuff. So let's just get started. Just so if you're super interested in purchasing this car, it's recommended you watch the, the entire video. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the camera can do a lot of the work for me. You start over here on my left-hand side and come down here and if you could kindly cruise just across the top of the chrome, all the way across. We don't have any major damage in this chrome bumper here, folks, um, or major scratches. We have not clobbered this with a full-on chrome polish, uh, It, although it has been uh, kind of sort of waxed and polished a little bit, um, but it hasn't had uh, you know, a full-on chrome polish treatment. So. Will all of these scratches and stuff go away? Probably not, uh, but it shows very good reflection. It's a very good driver. Uh, it's not a total mirror finish, but it really, it really does look pretty darn good. It's all there. It's all in pretty good shape. We haven't gotten to the pitting stage yet. It may be at the very beginning of it, but, um, but it's been kept pretty decent. Um, and uh, we're, we're trying our best to, to resurrect things here. So, okay, uh, other than that, um, down here on the bottom portion of the bumper, um, we have a, a, a small uh, uh, out dent, if you will, uh, not so much of driving into the curb uh, and hitting it this way, more of grabbing it gently and pulling it the other direction. Uh, it hasn't messed up, you know, really the alignment of the chrome or the front bumper or anything like that. It's just a, a minor thing. It's all the way down here on the bottom. This is what you get at Celebrity Cars. Uh, you know, we get as honest as we can get about the current the condition of the car. So, you know, you don't get it home, get mad at us, and so on and so forth. So, um, once again, this isn't a perfect ride, but I, I, the camera can't fool you. You're looking right at it. It really is a nice car. It's waiting for a full-on restoration if you're crazy about this vehicle. The uh, chrome around the headlights really do look fabulous. The chrome emblem in the front and center of the car look pretty darn good. The headlights look good. The screws, uh, you know, you see any extra rust or crud building up in any of the corners. Now, let's talk about the paint because we're going to work our way up here on the hood. Uh, I could start to do this. Look, there's a little chip right there. Uh, there's three little chips right here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, like I said in the beginning, it's not perfect. You can see, take a look at this hood. I mean, you can just all the way around the reflection of the sun. It barely has any of those, you know, microfiber. Somebody used the kitchen towel. Uh, it's in really 
really nice shape. There's a couple locations where you can see some old watermarks still exist. Um, this would be the you know detailer's dream um, once you get it home and resurrect this paint. But if, see if I run my hand on it right now, it's very smooth because we tried clay bars and stuff to get this shined up real nice. So you notice I'm, I'm barely not even you know leaving a fingerprint because it's just so smooth. Uh, there's no sh 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 if you get where I'm going with that. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, there's another chip right here. Um, uh, I, again, I, I'm going to try not to pick out all the chips, but the, this is as bad as it gets, folks. They're just around. And the only reason why we're really seeing them is because of my job and the fact that I need to point them out. But if you took this to a car show, not a whole lot of people are going to beat you up on a lot of these little, little marks. The windshield is uh, really nice. There's a little bit of wear. It's an old car. The chrome around the windshield could uh, use some extra shining for sure. The da top of the dash pad looks pretty darn good. I see a small crack from that, so it might just be a scratch. That's just a scratch from that screw to this screw. Just a scratch. Um, but other than that, it's in, in, in great shape. Uh, let's work our way down the passenger, or the passenger side because I kind of feel I should turn the car around to get a good look at the other side. So let's get this out of the way. Now, if you could stay right there, professional camera person and allow me to walk down here I want to show you this section here okay so um, this is where some body work was done it was resprayed this all really matches really nice folks you can't tell that anything is different it was probably fixed and then the whole car was painted back in you know the 80s or 90s I'm not sure um, but it was done a while ago and uh, just from my assessment. But this uh, section right here is, uh, I would like to say, to be desired, okay? Um, it's okay, it gets by, you see it on film, it looks pretty good. We're out here in the sunshine, not a lot of people are gonna pick you apart. If you got it up on a lift and you're looking at it sideways, you kind of go, huh, what happened there? Okay, that's what we're talking about here. Uh, along the doors right here, we have a couple chips, the normal suckers getting in and out of the door. There's a couple here but they're not very blatant. They're not very loud. Um, just normal wear, open and closing the door. That's it. Okay, working away. The chrome piece along the bottom does look terrific. I have looked at that. It is for the most part pretty straight. I'm running my hand all the way down. It's actually very straight, okay? I wanted to make sure you knew that. The chrome working its way down the side of the car. Um, the, uh, the chrome on both sides of the car is, is very nice. Uh, I would think that the only thing that really needs uh, some upkeep is the white area in the middle. Um, it just uh, seems to, to need to be freshened up just a little bit. Uh, I, I know these wheels and tires are in good shape. The tires are, you know, they got plenty of tread on, the hub caps are good, the white walls are awesome. Um, uh, we're not going to have curb rash on, on a car like this because you're a very bad driver if you've got curb rash with these great big tires. Uh, it's the hair road wear here, small chip there. The chrome is fine. Um, the seal in here, uh, yep, it's still bending. It's not cracking and breaking off into the parking lot. So that seal in there is pretty good for the, uh, for the skirts. Okay, uh, let's look at the trunk lid while we have this car in the sun. And you can see really, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. There, there's, there's no great big crack in the way. There's a couple little marks that need to come out from, you know, your fancy detail products you got laying around in the garage. But I mean, it, it, it is what it is and, it, and it's, it's a really a nice car. You really can't beat it up too bad. There's some scratches on the chrome back here for maybe pulling some luggage out, but they're not god awful. Um, I, I can feel that this chrome back here may not have been treated as much as the front bumper. Um, so this has got a lot of extra shining to do back here. Uh, I am looking at this in the shade right now. So. I'm just trying to make my eyes focus to see how back this back panel is. It's very nice. More beautiful maroon paint back here, folks. Now, uh, before we go any further, down here along the bottom of the bumper. 
all the way down underneath. Uh, we've got a couple bangs underneath this bumper. It's, uh, it's pretty straight, but just been uh, backed into, into something a couple times. Uh, but all the chrome still really looks nice. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna spin this around, get it in the sunlight. So we spun it around to get it back out in the sunlight, the driver's side in the sunlight, so you can see how nice this side is. Now, let's just uh, start at this back bumper. Remember, we just looked at the back bumper and it was in the shade. Let's look at it in the sunlight. Let's see how well I did. Yeah, you got a couple little scratches getting in and out of the trunk. It's really pretty mild and I'm pretty sure some chrome polish will shine that right the heck up. All this looks good back here. The tail lights look great. The plastic is all here. I don't see anybody backed in any of this corner. Nobody backed in anything on this corner. There's a small little chippy doos on this one back here, but that's not really that bad. Uh, some light pitting in this tail light chrome over here, a little bit heavier than the other side, but still in really nice shape. Okay, yep, trunk, trunk, trunk. Yep, didn't miss anything, good, okay. Passenger side. Got a little bug crap. Hey, the rear windshield looks terrific, doesn't it? Uh, barely any wear. Might be some more bug crap, I'm not really sure. The nice uh, leather finish back here, it's all in white. It looks really good. The chrome trim around the back here, the, uh, the, the, the plastic slash rubber seal in, in here uh, to hold in the glass is all really nice. This is really nice back here. Very, very nice. There's no cracks coming down either. The windows, water running down or anything like that. It looks, looks really good. We'll look in the trunk in just a minute. Okay, working our way up the driver's side. Like I said earlier, the white section is a little to be desired uh, in this area here. It just needs to shine up a little bit better, but man, this maroon is beautiful. You'd expect to see a bunch of dings in, in this car too, and there aren't any, uh, except for that body uh, repair that was done over on the other side. So a couple small chips on the skirt, small chip here. Um, I mean, like I said, we could beat this thing to death, but it's not it's just not very nice to do so. We, we've already made it clear, but I'm just letting you know where they are anyway. None of, none of them, once again, are, are really ugly. This You could call this one ugly. It's right next to the door. Um, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't uh, scrape off. It's a small chip right there before you get in the door. Um, uh, here's uh, one, two, three, four small ones in the middle of the door, but the chrome looks great. Uh, all one piece, couple really minor scuffs on it. There's probably a couple scratches of getting in and out of the car door here, but it opened and closes really nice. I mean, oh, were you looking at something? Should, you were? Okay, here we go, look at that again. Okay. Um, but the chrome molding across the bottom, again, looks good. I see a bunch of fingerprints on it. That's okay. But the chrome looks good. Uh, I see maybe a hair of a ding right there, but man, it's super, and another one right here, super small. But really small stuff, your dent pro, your dent pro guy, get that right out. Looks good. A little bit of dirt in the wheel well, but other than that, it's super shiny. The hubcap looks good. Small pitting on some of these hubcaps on the wings, but um, you know, I could see these could, could uh, handle popping off and somebody sitting down, taking an hour of hubcap, shining them up real nice. Okay, let's see what the engine looks like. We wanted to get our light coordinated here for you folks. Okay, so uh, pretty darn clean engine compartment here. The, uh, the black walls down the side are nice and shiny. The engine seems to sit there nice and clean. There, it does leak a little bit, okay? But we come out uh, a couple days later, there's a couple little spots on the ground. Now, I don't know what the leaks are coming from. The, the, if you, you think you're, these old cars don't leak all the time, you're crazy. Uh, but it runs good. The fluid levels are good. So it's a, it, it is a pretty, a pretty happy car. Um, Please check out the badging down there. So you get a good, uh, if you could hone in on that back wall and get those numbers for our Pontiac lovers that could decipher that stuff. It's your turn, you can do that on your own. We'll try and get a good photograph of that at celebritycars.com so you can see it. 
But the horns are sitting up here. I actually spent some time in here with a rag, started to do some cleaning, get a little couple extra nooks and crannies to, to make it look pretty decent in here. And I think it looks pretty darn good. Battery seems to be in very decent condition. And uh, underneath the hood looks good. Not super clean, but it's all solid. And uh, all seems to be in, in pretty darn good shape. Got power steering in here. Okay, we're gonna climb inside just to Look at the interior here. I'm gonna I'm gonna open this up. You take your time. I'm gonna go over to the passenger side, or driver side. Sorry. Okay. So, I guess that's a big, really cool speaker down there. It says power steering right on a steering wheel over here. You'll check out these things in a minute once the camera gets over there. I'm in the way. Uh, the chrome underneath the dashboard looks terrific. Look at the chrome panel around the stereo system. Uh, the clock, I do not see, you know, chipping away, turning around so the clock is not functioning. Um, uh, when we go for a drive, we're going to play with the air conditioning and see if we can get any cool air out of this. The odometer currently says 64,405 miles. Um, you know, I guess you could say, hey, uh, this could have 160,000 miles on it, but uh, boy, not, not, not really, <laughs> not really. Uh, I could tell a lot of this car was redone, but I don't think it was ever really completely redone. So there's plenty of uh, originality left over here. Now, I do want to show you two damaged locations. If you could direct that camera down towards my feet. See this wall? These were very brittle, and there's a hole down there on the bottom. Now, you don't have to go too far, because look at that side. I don't know if they sell replacement panels uh, for inside these Pontiacs. Um, I guess you want to come over here to this side and see it? Okay, I'll slide over. Come on around. Like I said, folks, we... we we here at Celebrity Cars want to make sure you see everything. We don't want you to get a car home and be so disappointed with us because we didn't point out certain things. So I try to conquer it all. Uh, down here, near my, uh, my left foot, you can see a hole right in the wall down here. This stuff is some really light plastic. And uh, this happened, I did learn, on just about all these cars. So uh, if you do have one of these in your garage, and you're comparing notes, make sure that when your family and friends get in the car, their feet don't get near these walls because they're going to be goners. Uh, it seems to be a very nicely optioned vehicle. Uh, the headliner, although has a little bit of staining in here, uh, in this particular area, the rest of it is really, really nice all the way back. The interior headlight lamp still work. Um, the rear view mirror is in great shape. The visors could be cleaned a little bit. These are a little dirty, so they need to be shined up a little. There's a little bit of pitting on this chrome to hold uh, the uh, rear view mirror. Um, but all of these controls directly in front of your face uh, are really, really beautiful. Key fits in there, pretty snug. Brake pedal, the brake uh, can stick just a little. Um, you have to pull it up every once in a while. Very easy adjustment. But I'll tell you what, you don't have to worry about brakes in this sucker. It stops. Really stops. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, back seat. The seat that I'm sitting on. Folks, this stuff is just about, uh, I'd say if this car were born in 1957, which it was, 56, 57, I'd say these are in the condition of what it would be, uh, you know, eight years later. Being taken care of very well. These seats are really, really nice. Nothing really smells funny in here. The carpet looks good. There might be a super small stain on that seat if we're being really picky. But, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't complain about anything if I were to take the, these walls back here. This, this uh, leather plastic on the walls. These are in really nice shape. These covers across are really nice shape. This is a very, very nice car. So from time to time, uh, we're outside, 90 degrees. Uh, components get hot and we needed to move inside. And I just figured to share, you know, the color of the car, since we're outside in the bright sunshine, uh, wanted you to get a comparison of inside and out of the beautiful color. One more time, real quick glance at that engine compartment, just in case uh, 
you know, the outside sunlight had uh, misconstrued the video at all, so it doesn't hurt to look one more time. Everything closes and shuts real nice. The glass that we didn't talk about on all these doors too, and you know, turning these knobs and stuff, all this stuff works really good. Here, let's get a, let's get a look at your uh, driver's side window here, just so you know. The power window option was not, uh, was not checked off on this car, nor do I think it was uh, offered just yet. But anyway, uh, back window is the same. And in the trunk, uh, which you'll see photographs of at celebritycars.com, uh, is a bunch of extra parts to go along with this car.